I will say though, this concentrated bit that we're doing here, even though it's leaking out, it's successfully cooling the area around it. So while maybe having it in this wide open area, uh, just out in the open, was not a, probably not the smartest idea, thinking that we we're just gonna magically cl clear up all the uh, the warm ambiance <laughs> that was uh, uh, that, that we had put ourselves into there. Um, but just giving it a trickle of uh, of cool air, or just basically just cooling, uh, that is <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Uh huh. Now you get up, get up over here enough you can see. Up, oh, give me, give me. Up, 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 up. Give me, give me, give me. Come on, up, 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 up. <laughs> He's trying to, she's trying to pull me up. Come here. Nope. Up. Good. Ah, nah. Come on. Up. Up. Come here. Da. <laughs> Back to business. Squeak, 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 squeak. He's trying to taunt me to get me out of here. He wants me to go outside and play. Dreklet egg. Nice. Will they drop it off up here automatically? Yo, that's a whole lot of dreklets. Well, why are we? Why are we? Oh, these are uh, glossy. Oh, wait. Why are we tying them up though? How's this work? There's a phosphorite out of them. Why are they tamed? Glum, overcrowded, and cramped. Yeah. No. No. no you're right. You're right. Um, should I expand this out an extra floor? I mean, I don't have any dirt to really expand this thing. I don't know how to deal with these stupid plants. They're stupid dudes, whatever. Are they hungry, though? They're not hungry, so... As long as they're not hungry, it doesn't matter. Don't come here! Our water supply now is topped off again. Where are you going? What, the, what are you doing? Where are you going with that polluted water? Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Because it's still an auto-bottling thing. So let's go ahead and turn that off. Disable auto-bottle. There we go. I don't want them to just keep leaking water out. Look what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> we are, uh, we, you know, we, we might actually run into the issue of having too much water. Yeah, the water's overflowing because, uh, yeah, because we have this pup, pup up here. Are you still fucking picking up water there? Disable that building. Don't touch it. Don't touch it, everybody. No, you know what? I don't need to do, I don't need to do that. I don't have to do, I have to do that. We'll just, uh, disable the building and we'll just, uh, lock this door. There. Cannot go through. Done. Done. We've gotten rid of most of the uh, uh, most of the oxygen in this space simply by filtering it, and we still have a significant amount of hydrogen. This thing over here is at 112, so it is cooler. It is cooler than what it was, so that's a good thing. It means we might be slowly winning this battle. I guess the only thing what is our what is our consumable? What is the thing that we're gonna lose next? We have plenty of oxygen now. Once again, we get this base looking pretty good. We're over a thousand. Um, we have a temperature issue in some areas. This is just slightly above temp, which is fine. We could live with that. Uh, phosphorite. How much phosphorite do we have? Yeah, that's gonna be the that's the that is a consumable that we're using a lot of consumable uh, organic. Uh, actually, it's under agriculture right there. We have 13 tons of phosphorite, and we have glossy drecos, at least a couple of them. <laughs> Auto bottles roll out. Well, uh, yeah, I think we are mostly okay. What, what, if we could get the, like I said, if we could get this space down to like under a hundred degrees where it's like, you know, a green almost, uh, then we could start reusing some of the, of this hydrogen to cool it and take it into, uh, hi, welcome back. Uh, and take it into the base and use it as, you know, like a radiator of sorts. But the suits are good. They're getting oxygen, albeit at kind of a slow rate, a slow pace, but it's working. They're using so many of them at once, so. Uh, water is going to be the other thing that we use a lot of, but we definitely have a huge supply of that. Plus, this is also running and probably feeding it uh, at a decent rate. Maybe not a decent rate, I will just say. Uh, are, these, are they still tied up up there? Yo, I don't get this. They're so mad. 
I mean, I'm not the expert over here, so maybe it would just let them just do the thing, but... Just tie some up. This is animal abuse, man. It's messed up. Oh, we got some pips over here. Auto wrangle the drop off point. Thank you. Uh, auto wrangle surplus. Oh, duplicate will automatically wrangle any critters that exceed the population number or do they not belong in this stable? Oh, well, let's turn that off. Glossy Dreco, Glossy Dreco, Hatch, Hatchling, more Pip, Pip Squeak. We're gonna need more space if we're gonna do that. I, I don't, I don't know if I, I feel like I'm just doing that just because we, have, I'm building a ranch just because we haven't. Let me wrangle this guy and wrangle this Pip Squeak too. They're gonna get, yeah, they're gonna get too hungry anyways. I think we have lumber dropping into this. No. Let me see lumber. Let's make that like an eight. That way somebody will bring that up. Oh, actually, he can't deliver, so... Or, uh, not everybody else can deliver, so let's do this. Let's have somebody come in here. And then they can go out. Come in and out that way. Oh, look at that. Clean him up. Was. Or tag them, it looks like. So it's overcrowded for sure. Maybe we'll just kill off all the regular ones? I don't know. They'll come around to it. The bin is set to sweep only, son of a bitch. Man, what would I what would I do without these extra what? How many eyes? Extra like a hundred eyes or something like that? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. We can't have any of this in here. This is not oh, it's power, isn't it? Fuck, oh, it's the wire. We knew it was gonna happen. We knew it was gonna happen. It's why does it have to break in there? I mean, thank, thankfully, it'll just take a second to go in there and change it, but still, it's a pain in the, pain in the stuff. Alright, let's get a couple batteries, let's get a couple transformers, and we'll start to flesh out some, you know, some new circuits here. So we'll get a couple of smart batteries. Oh, hey, you're back, Donut. Hi. Let's see, I don't think we need anything crazy, just like aluminum is probably fine. So let's see, we'll do, uh... I have room for it. Let's put the transformers down first. Those are the bigger things. The large transformer. Yeah. So we'll do like this one here. And do this one here. Then we'll put some batteries in between. Smart battery. Made out of aluminum again. And then we'll just put a space in between them. That way they could use. Let's see. One, two. And then. Hmm. Hmm. We'll do that. There we go. Now for power. This is gonna go to how did I have the other one set up? That's an that's a middleman one. That's not gonna work out. But I want it to have its own power beyond the transformer. Made a mess. Uh oh, suffocating. Uh oh, uh oh, Donis. Oh my god, these idiots. They all went up there to help. Why isn't anything getting done? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Hurry quick! Get it all! Oh man. I just wanted to drop off some food for the damn... the pips. I made a dupe trap. I did. Well, the pips are in there now. I guess somebody else will clean those up later. Jeez. So what happened to your last colony? Well... <laughs> you want to talk about mistakes being made? Boy, do I have one for you. Uh, now, wire bridge is not an ideal setup there. So let's do this. Over, down, one, two. And then... And then what we'll do is... we we'll replace this. Deconstruct that one. Deconstruct this one, and then here we're gonna put heavy watt joint plates because we're gonna use heavy watt wire here. I think I just probably put it there. Yeah, good. And then we'll run heavy watt wire to their respective machines. And I think it's all yeah, everything's all wired together, so we don't we don't need the extra. So we'll get rid of those, and we we'll get rid of these. We we'll use those resources, and then we're gonna go home to get this. Choose the blueprints. Oxalite. 
sure. Uh, I think we should probably put, maybe put this on control three. Shift one, good. Shift two. What's this at? 39 degrees. So let's drop 10 degrees as we last checked. Good. Oh, man, changed my life. Rob. Rob. Hotel California. <laughs> Uh, wow, look at all this, uh, hydrogen we have building up up here. It's actually not that dense. But, oh, you know what? It's not that dense because we didn't, we're not pushing it with, uh, uh, with oxygen yet. Because we don't have enough oxygen in the base, so. Like, we have oxygen, but it's not quite enough. You can have batteries on the heavy wire set. You can. You can. But I'm not. This is a deliberate thing. If you look right here. I have them. These ones are, this is basically my, like, they're like capacitors. So if there's like a blip in the matrix or something like that, when in between like them shutting off, uh, shutting off or whatever, then these provide kind of a buffer there, right? To keep the, keep the power smooth. As you can see, it doesn't last very long. Uh, so those ones are on the inside. Uh, uh, I like to keep the other ones on the outside. So that way they just provide power to whatever is on the outside there. Should there be some kind of catastrophic failure with the, uh, uh, with the machines that they're connected to. Which never really happens. Never. So once once these are hooked up, I should probably start looking at where we're gonna route some of this stuff. Some of this nasty and some of this whatever. It looks like we just go straight up. We'll just do this. It's a lot better. No need to chain them together like this. And also we free up the space too for something else. And then the coming in. I don't know where that's coming from, but we're not, we're not here to fix that just yet. So that'll get these, these things going. We don't have uh, automation yet to shut them off when the power is up. So let's do that. Oh fuck. How did I have these things hooked up? Um, okay, so it's just, okay, okay. Although most of it is already hooked up, all I have to do is just one, two, one, two. It's pretty complicated because of design for three in mind, and I don't necessarily need to, to, to have three. So we'll do this. Oh, Who's that? Who's that? Waylander! Oh, snap! I love you too, boo. 16 months. Thank you so much. I had to add months because if it's 16, someone's going to be like, whoa, what is this? Uh, this and this. There we go. Uh oh. Mouse moved. But thank you, Waylander. Appreciate it. Sweet 16. <laughs> I keep getting older. They just keep staying the same. Or whatever the saying is. Uh, what did you say? There was uh, extra liquid pipe in there somewhere? Oh yeah, no, uh, uh, you, maybe you missed it earlier, but uh, this is my backup just in case because this is all clean water coming through here and I, I thinned it out so it's kind of a trickle so that way there's more room, but if this is too much clean water coming through here for these to drain nasty water out, then I'll, I'll use this as a bypass. So I just left it here as kind of a bypass. It's not really hurting anything. Gives it that rugged industrial look, you know? <laughs> Let's see. So now, now, in regards to how we are going to separate the circuits, it looks like we could do the entire upper register here. Wow, let's do it now because it's already blowing up. Um, let's do, do, do. That entire thing will be its own circuit. The whole bottom half will be its own circuit. Are you using any add-ons or is all... Uh, I am using some add-ons, but the majority of what you're seeing, if you haven't seen the game in a long time, the majority of what you're seeing is in the original game. The most of the add-ons I'm using is like quality of life stuff, but the stuff still looks the same. Um, well, yeah. Yeah, am I using anything that- oh yeah, like drains, so like drains for example. Like these are drains, they just basically tiles that just suck up water that hits them and puts them in the pipe. And so like these are, uh, uh, using, um, a mod, this is a modded system. So this is what I was talking about right here. You see how the water comes out, it has to wait, right? That's why I thinned out the, uh, the, the, the feed, so that way there's enough room, so... I'm just gonna keep an eye on it, and we'll see. Let's see, carbon dioxide going out to space, where it belongs! Uh, I don't need water, I need electrical. And... 
Did I wire something incorrectly? Why is this thing bitching? No power. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's no power because it's on the other side. Because the battery's on the other side of the thing. Um, it's also not part of the main grid. Like, this is, this is the main grid here, really. I, I should connect these things together and put maybe another couple of batteries for, like, the capacitor batteries. Uh, that way everything just kind of stays on. There's no alerts or anything. Actually, let me go and hook it up and see how quickly we can drain those batteries. <laughs> I think we probably top them off. I don't think it's going to get any faster than that, but we'll do this anyways. That way we have, like, total redundancy across everything. I mean, obviously things can still fail, right, on an individual, like, wherever they're sitting at, but at least with this, we'll be able to keep uh, keep things keep a buffer here. So here we go. Battery is gonna is it gonna fill at all? It's trying. It's trying. It's trying. Oh, there it goes. Good. Woo! What's the temperature in here? 110 degrees. Wasn't it lower than that before? 45 degree. Huh? I wonder if we're just not quite. We're not doing enough. It's coming out at 40 degrees, man. It's going in at 110. Or is this going to be like an overtime thing? It's got to be an overtime thing, right? It just takes time. It takes time. 112 last time? Oh, okay, cool. Thank you for remembering that. But look at that. Look at that. He's using the damn boom box and it's not blowing up anything. Beautiful. Is this thing uh, still... That's fine. Overloading. What is disable auto repair? Oh, crap. Well, I was hoping. Oh, wait. That's... uh. On the wire. Damn. I was hoping to get rid of the, the little red thing. Otherwise, it's all I'm going to see. <laughs> it's all I'm going to see. What grows in hydrogen and warm? <laughs> what does that? And another 150 to 250 cycles will be green. Sweet! By 1,000. Cannot wait. This is, uh, this buildup is kind of a pain in the ass, actually. I wonder if I should replace some more of these tiles, or... I, I did this to create a seal, right? Not like a seal, but just kind of, like, mitigate the amount of gas that could flow through here, but I feel like this is a problem. They can't breathe in here. Well, some of them can't breathe. Um, oh, if I start replacing them, they're not, they're all gonna scooch out. Oh, Lethal brother. Strike 33! Peter says you can get him alive. <laughs> What if I... Thank you, by the way, Lethal Strike. For that. Okay, so the bottom's getting full, so good. We've reached capacity down here at the bottom. Now we're starting to work our way up, and these ones are going to reach capacity. Mm-hmm. Pip Cruelty. You know, once we get to the top, we're not really getting a whole lot of cool air, right? I mean... I wonder if... I wish I had more Wii's wards, so I'd build more. <laughs> I would just build more of those things. Generator idle. Oh, because the batteries. Well, because some of them are actually not even being used at all. How funny. Even this one over here is hardly being used. Oh, because it's relying on the main. Oh, how funny. Because of the main. These ones over here are basically working overtime. Uh, and then whenever the- oh yeah! So whenever these- because I separated the AND OR gates, um, whenever these generators over here turn off, then the- then these batteries will kick in, and when these batteries are dead, then these generators will kick in. So these actually just act as like a secondary backup set of generators, because I've wired them all together. Uh, it's not gonna hurt anything, it just means that these are gonna work a little bit more. So if these end up getting hotter, then I guess we'll just understand, right? It's like, well, that's just gonna happen, because you know, we're running so much more. They're running more often. Um, these things cannot keep up, though. They're, they're, they're filling up, but it's funny how quickly they can, uh, they can drain. I could, I could go through and build a pretty complex array and get all of these things all talking to each other, um, in order to... keep them running. Yeah, these, yeah, send a red signal, so red signal. Uh, these ones set a green signal, so these are gonna keep on running. Boop, off, and then, and then it drains, goes. We should hook up this, uh, this side to something else. 
Let me see. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we need a separate set to go down here because this is like this is running a lot. Oh, is it? I mean, not really, actually. Hold on a second. Oh, no, it's only running 1570. So we actually have a free one whole free uh, circuit that we could run off of that we just we just built that we haven't done anything with. So is there anything else that needs? Let me try to clean some of this cable up. Where are we lacking in power? I mean, up here, I could probably use another one. Maybe we... Maybe this one needs to get split. We'll run one wire. Uh, let me see. Oh, the boombox is on that one. 960, 1200. Entertainment's on that one. What is the potential load on this? 3,288. So I think that means yes. <laughs> that is a very clear yes. So let's go ahead and grab... We just cut a bunch of wires. So we definitely have the resources. We could run in another set straight down here and then we'll snip we'll, once they're done building that then we'll snip to separate and then we'll connect this new uh, one that we have can I grab uh, oh cool I could come up over here yeah perfect and then we'll snip when they're done oh they're done uh We'll snip, snip. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Sometimes these dupes just, 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 just so fast. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops, I think it'll just reconnect. Yeah, it just reconnects, thankfully. All right, I'll build this. The boombox isn't working without this. So that's the, that's the boombox. That's the entertainment center, basically. Yeah, there we go. Uh, and, and then 2000. Okay, so it's still, it still can technically uh, overload because if they're playing, if they're doing both the arcade and the boombox. So stupid, a whole thing dedicated to that. But at least this one is definitely not, and actually room to grow. So yeah. All the animals are just genetic ooze, so critters go into the munchers. What? Yeah, isn't that the, uh, isn't that like the whole backstory? Like the, the dupes are really just genetic ooze or something crazy. Uh, they, are they actually able to breathe in here? I just can't believe they can. I guess so. Wild, hungry. Uh, I guess they don't eat. They don't eat lumber, huh? I mean, if these dupes, if these fucking pips die because they're not eating the damn. Oh, you know what? Um. Sweep only now. Yeah, now we've set sweep only. And that way, now they won't... Yeah, now it'll drop and they won't keep on loading it up. Unless they take it somewhere else. Where are you taking it there, champ? Let me see. Show navigation. Oh, that's not gonna help me. Where is he going? <clears throat> okay. So. Let's remove. <sighs> Industrial. Before he brings more! Lumber. No lumber. And actually, it's copy those settings. Oh, no, no, it's not copy those settings. But let's make sure that nobody else has it. You, no. I'm sure these have, I'm sure there's lumber in here somewhere. Uh, let me see. Manufactured material, metal ore, industrial ingredients. See, lumber. And then we could do copy those settings. I don't want to come all the way down here for this. What if I should lock this door except for only a couple of people? Oh, no, no, because they, have to, they can't get the resources. I, I don't think he's going to come all the way down here just to grab that. I just want to leave this up here just long enough for these damn pips to eat. Stupid. Yeah, they did. Can you just cram more into the room? I see no problem. Yeah, just cram more. Survival of the fittest. But seriously, they should they should eat something in there at some point. Uh, Why so much blue-purple style on camera? What? <laughs> what kind of idiotic shit is that? Get out of here. Oh my god, purple and pink? You must be gay! Oh my god. Jesus Christ. 2011, man. Um, oh my, Day 9 is playing Oxnard. Clutie's on cycle 22 and taking in his 10th dupe! No! Somebody warned the man! <laughs> he doesn't know what he's getting into. 10 dupes. I, I, I've been there. I've been there. God, you gotta grill it up, baby. You gotta grill it up. Make that a nine. Grill it up. Do it, do it. 
not be able to keep up with the demand. Ten dupes? I don't know if uh, having boots just constantly, just not stop cooking is going to be enough. Let me see. Skills. Mm, da -da -da -da. Uh, boots. Let's, put, let's give him his grilling hat. Grilling two. Put a couple of my grilling hat on. Boop! There he goes. More people mean stuff gets done faster, right? What could possibly go wrong? They don't need air or food or any of that. <laughs> They'll be fine. They'll be absolutely fine. Where are we at? 109.8. Despite running more often. So wait, uh, did we did we figure out what we could put here? Let me see. Uh, bomb lily. Oh, it prefers chlorine. Okay, so not that. Pinch of pepper. Prefers... Ambient gas pressure. Oh, it doesn't really care. But it likes it warmer, though. Should we try to put... Oh, we can't because it's not upside down. <laughs> I was going to say, let's try to put us put one there. Fungal spore. Carbon dioxide. Gross. I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to look for something I could um, grow here naturally. That's, that's a swamp. Water, brine, salt water. Bleach stone, salt water. Yeah. Camera too. Let's check. Let's check our cameras. All right. So here, food. Food is going okay. Just okay. Uh, you know what? Maybe we should actually plant some mealwoods on these ones too. Over here, thirty-one degrees. It dropped another ten degrees from the last time we checked, and the ambient uh, leakage is doing a fair job of keeping things cool. I wonder if I should go ahead and kick on this machine and let it run. It would just be cycling in on itself. It would use some of the hydrogen, which we have plenty of, and we're building some up in the base. Let's do it. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. That'll kick on. It's got some uh, some juice in reserve. And then it'll start processing and shooting hydrogen, cold hydrogen, right out on top of itself, which is fine. So that'll further uh, perpetuate the, uh, the cooling around here. It'll also get nice and cool underneath and also keep the machines cool, which hasn't been a problem before, but sure. Uh, let me see. 109.8, so still doing okay. These things are basically never running, but... It's not like we have wear and tear, so I guess it's not that big of a deal, but if shit hits the fan, then we know they're there. So where are we at right now? Let me think. We have... Like, I mean, plenty of oxygen down here, which is not really a problem, but look, we've, we've gotten this thing pretty well you know, tightened up here, so this is good. Um, I do think I should put another... Do I have enough plastic to do this? I'm gonna turn off the plastic. Use cooling machines to heat up, cool the gas, use to cool them so they can cool gas. I know, that's exactly what's happening, too. It's <laughs> exactly what's happening. We need to set up a small, a uh, small system here to... to vent some of this. And so, let's see, mini gas pump. So we'll put this up right here. Here. And we will get rid of that, and then we'll get rid of, where does that go to? Oh, okay. Well, we don't need that right now. So we'll get rid of that, and we'll connect those two there. We're going to put a small gas element sensor here. Gas elements. Boom. Power. Blam. And so now, whenever it senses hydrogen, it'll just kick on. Which probably should just let it kick on now, just to suck up as much as it can. So we'll just set it to... Well, hydrogen, I guess. <laughs> to start with. <laughs> then we'll bring this down. And then we'll connect that there. I was, I was, shit's running pretty good, man. Let's get this part done. What up, Inferno? Come on, one of you guys got there we go. Okay, I was gonna say this is taking too long. Boom, boom, boom. That's what I want to see. Good. There's still a lot of hydrogen in the room. What's right here? Carbon dioxide. Let's uh we'll let it it's gonna kick on in a second here. Right? Well, let's do carbon dioxide. 
Which is like none. Is it none? Well, that just sent. Oh, okay, carbon dioxide. What is a sense? Doesn't it say what it sends? What it actually sees? Okay, so is the oxygen down there? No, hydrogen? I know it I know it pulls at the top, but I wanted to catch it as it goes out. That was the point. I wanted to catch it as it went out. That was the that's kinda of what I wanted to do. But this is good. This is as, as long as we get it started, then I should be able to keep on control. You know what I should do? I, sh I should just move this whole thing up one. Like, that's what I should do. I mean, this is nice and compact and everything, but it needs to go up one. It was a good idea. Just in the wrong place. This whole thing, this whole setup needs to go up one. Damn. Let me see. So we'll do ventilation. We'll do ventilation first. Go up. And we'll put it like up in the corner right here. Mini gas pump. Boom. I think it'll just will it need uh well, hold on, give it a second. Let's see. Oh my my pipe disappeared. But that I wanted to cancel and rotate. Cause I don't know exactly where the opening is, you know? And we'll put this here. And we'll connect these there. That's like a, that's a guarantee right there. That's gonna work. So I wanted to capture it as it was coming out, but that's a little too complicated, I guess. Good. Come on, almost, almost. We got it. We got it. Beautiful. Hydrogen. So that'll just clear through all the hydrogen that's stuck up there and shove it back down where it belongs to eliminate some of the hydrogen leakage that we've been experiencing. Good. And it pumps a very small amount. What is it? Like, yeah, it's a real small amount. But that's, given that we're only going to be dealing with small leaks coming out of that door, that's enough. Are those red? Those are. There's no, no place to put bottled water. Whoops, we'll get that later. Let me see. Food is good! This thing is 30 degrees still. How about down here? <laughs> Cooling itself. 59 degrees. Cool. And 109 degrees. 109.3 degrees. 0.2 degrees. So, getting colder. These rooms over here are negative 31. Let's go ahead and make another for like this area here. So we'll do a control four. I can't believe I didn't know that. Man, fucking Rob. Damn it. <laughs> Just cha changing my life. Paku, oh. Okay. Should I drop, will they live in here? Will they survive 140 degree water? Do they care? How do I... Do I need a critter drop-off? Let me look at my other critter drop-off. Oh, you know what? That's what I need. Well, that'll be number five, I guess. Let me see. Girl five. Good. Let me see. Paku, Paku, Paku. It's not on here, so it's not a crit critter drop-off. Unless it's like a weird name or something. Um, You need fish drop-off. Oh, it's a completely different thing. Okay, cool. I guess under stations, I'm guessing. Nope. What a flex point. Food. Oh my god, really? It's fucked up. <laughs> a fish release. Alright, and a fish feeder. Automatic dispenses stored critter food into the area below. Dispenses once per day. Oh, interesting. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we could put that here. And the machine will fill it up, right? We just gotta tell it what to put in there. Fish release. Won't work underwater. Oh, it does work underwater. We'll put it right here. They're gonna make a mess going in and out of here, but... Sometimes you got to, man. Sometimes you got to. We gotta do something about this eventually. That's an eventually thing, though. It's not a right now thing. 
Some of you stealthy from other extreme shock to the temps. Yeah, it will. Uh, I, I have a mod that will also show all of them there, though. So, yeah, you got them all. That's a lot of water over the limit. Ah, it'll be fine. They'll just jump right in. It'll be super fast. Super fast. I should, though. I should. Since it is getting higher, I should. Yeah. Create a trap for moving the fish. Can I need a trap, too? I can't just... Can, I can't wrangle these things? You can't wrangle fish? <laughs> Yeehaw! It doesn't work that way, huh? I'm shocked! I'm shocked, I tell you. Has there still only been one unfortunate ending? Uh, I believe so. I'm actually not sure what the ending is. I've never been. Absolutely no idea. Fish release. Paku fry? Tropical fry? Like, after you cook them? <laughs> oh! Haha! <laughs> you before the dupes! Um, no, we haven't had any- zero incidents in, uh, however many months or cycles. It's been a while since we've had an incident, yes. Fish feeder. Is it, what does it mean? Gold amount? Okay, I was gonna say, what's taking so long? Oh, what the f <laughs> Just build this thing, dudes. Thank you. You see how quickly water did not leak out of there? That was pretty good. Oh, has it been 449 cycles? Oh, yeah. The YouTube just recently had the death. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's It was unfortunate, but... You know, sometimes it happens. Oh, really? Paku? Paku? Fr oh, okay. Okay. It does both. Tropical fry. Tropical Paku. I mean... How about just all of them? I don't know what they eat, so I'm guessing this machine will fill it up if I give it more. Like, give it something to put in there. Which is what? Algae. Okay. Algae. 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 And... Go out on a limb here. Algae. Yep. Okay. So we gotta put a little bit of algae in here, then. So... We'll go to... Agriculture. Oh, no, no, no. Organic, 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 organic. And... A little bit of algae. And that'll take care of that. So now, we need critter traps, you say? Let me see. Food. Critter traps. Fish trap. Okay. Attracts and traps swimming piku. No. Captures a living critter for transport. It, oh, wow. It uses plastic. Well, I have a lot of plastic. Where did I get all this plastic from? My... Uh... Oh, it's not running. Wow. Oh, the glossy drunk. Yeah, it's right. Whoa. Hey, okay. Okay, I'm into this ranching thing. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get this built. Get these traps built. Let's do it. All right, here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Whoop! Look at. Am I doing this wrong? Might need a pool of water and a fish trap. <sighs> trap settings. Oh, 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 good idea. Oh, there's no, there's no settings. I have an idea though.
They just have to live for just a second. Is that gonna work? Do they empty it on the ground right there? Yeah, they do. Come on, Buffy. Biffy. Perfect. Now let's open this door. And they should go busting through here, going straight for that water. It's hardly enough water. <laughs> come on, come on, get over there, get over there. <laughs> okay, uh, we need another water source. Let's do... Where the other ones at? Come go this way, man. Watching tries give me anxiety. <laughs> feel it, feel good, 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 good. Good. Oh, uh oh, we got another one. Come on, go. Drip. Drip, 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 drip. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, it's taking forever. I don't know why they can't just grab the dumb fishes. One block deep pool will be enough. Oh, look at you. <laughs> oh, there's more coming. Whoa! Look at that. And here they all come. Okay, we gotta stop, though. <laughs> this needs to stop now. We got them all. We got them all. Look at that. No deaths. We got them all, baby. Mm -mm -mm. Just we just we just good at this game. We just good at this game. We don't know what we're doing, but we do it well. Let's uh, make some fish traps. Fish trap out of plastic. Sure. Ooh, that's a fucking weird setup, but I'm guessing that's gonna work. The hell if I know. We'll see. Have you tried picking up fish with your hand? Tooltip is misleading on fish traps. Uh-oh. Well, I can't read that right now, so I'm just going to assume that this is going to work. Alright? That's all. Is it too high? See, be careful, duplicate trying to carry a fish with a narcolepter. Okay, okay, see, a fish trap is a trap you use a fish. So once catch a duplicate, will bring it to fish release. So if the fish has only a single use, after duplicate is back to fish, the fish trap will be destroyed. Ugh, really? Waste, waste of plastic. Make a swimming pocket. Fish traps are also required to capture pakus on their flipping state on land! It's not high enough. Fuck me, dude. All this for some dumbass fish? Oh, 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 we got one! Okay, okay, it does work, it does work. Oh, shit! Okay, so then they're gonna take that and they're gonna move it over there, right? That's how it works? No, no food and f no, no, nothing. Bloop, bloop. Hey, alright! He's wild and happy. I have no food for him, but he's wild and happy. Uh, is there any algae over here that we can just drop and they'll just eat it? Nope, 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 nope. Because I don't know if that's going to supply that. Or actually, I don't know if it could reach it, technically. Because it's just out of range there. 
But we'll see. Let's see. Max capacity 200 keys. And this is just supposed to be... I wonder if I could just say 9 is fill it up. And we'll see how long it lasts. How are the other ones doing? There we go. Cool, we got another one. This trap. We have a whole bunch of fish here, though. So it's gonna take a minute to get all this. I mean, they're, not, they're actually not even swimming in this direction, so I don't know if this is gonna... If this is gonna work. They're, like, stuck swimming in this... over here. I wonder if I should put some more water down here. Make, like, a pool. Nah, they won't let the fish out. It's too high. We've got one. Oh, we got it. It's loaded up. Fish feed. Fish feed is full now. Good. Speaking of food. Good. 29 degrees. Still getting colder. It's gonna take a while, though. 108 degrees. So, yeah, everything is getting colder. Like, our system is working. It's just gonna take a very, very, very long time in order for that to... to actually, uh, complete. Oh, man. What, I tell it's sweet, maybe? Oh, I know, I know. It's the, uh, the fish drop off's gonna be higher priority, probably. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get Declan. <laughs> Hello, Zeno! Yeah, they even make that a nine, they'll probably start snatching them up and, uh, and grabbing them. Okay, so they built that blocks. So okay, good. Uh, then we'll do another one here. Oh, cool. Got another one. We could probably do this without, uh, without building a whole bunch more. I was gonna flood this area and just make, like, a pool of water. The only problem is that water is very conductive. <laughs> I should use, like, a pool of petroleum or something going down the, the bottom. Oh, they're done. Good. Let's see. Food. It's a fish trap. And we'll go... What do I have? Four more, I think? Oh, I have more than four. Wow, I have a lot. Oh, I'm out of plastic. <gasps> well, time to make some more. Daily RMA update. Oh! Gigabyte lives in the future. My GB has already been fished tomorrow. You shipped, not fished. <laughs> tomorrow, man, already? Okay, we have some ba base maintenance to do, but that's, uh, that's also not a me right now thing. Let's see. Analysis complete. Gonna see. Da -da -da -da. Active period 80.5 cycles. Next activity in 50 cycles. Okay, good. This one, did we get that analyzed? This one, they did not analyze because she cannot reach it. So, and this is uh, surprisingly still not uh, emptied out. I figured it would like take it out, but I guess not. You know, it'll do it. Well, actually, we just filled with chlorine, actually. It'll probably do fine. This big flooded chlorine basin. God, this is just not going to let up, is it? There's so many. Oh, we're getting more plastic from this. Oh, that's fucking dope. That is so fucking cool. Uh, okay, good. There's only a couple left. Oh, I still have enough. One day Xeno will have no computer updates. We won't know what to do with ourselves. I know. And it'll disappear just like Era. Uh, what was I going to do? I was going to go turn his machine on and uh, let it go for just a minute. Naval building. Hi, hi. Inferno, I just got your message on, um, <laughs> on Patreon. Uh, it says, those, those, those virgin killers, virgin killing sweaters look way better on the models than me for sure. Thankfully, they came straight from the manufacturer, otherwise I'd question. <laughs> it's like, how do you know this? <laughs> Yeah, man, they, I'm getting a lot of use out of those, for sure. Like, they're, they're great. Heating up, heating up, heating up. Wow, it's, it, it's actually pumping out quite a few before it, uh... Usually I don't get this many, I usually get like two and then it's overheated. We examine this mythical figure in this in-depth documentary. <laughs> the Legend of Era. Oh, I know. Why, wait, hold on a second. Why is it surviving? Is it not because of this water right here, right? 
this tiny little bit of water? Is this helping mitigate? I know you could put use petrol like this, or petroleum. Oh, when I built it, it was high temp. Oh, good point. Good point. Well, dude, it's fucking killing it now. I'm just gonna let it go. I mean, it's even like shitting in its own backyard here and it doesn't have a problem with it. Temperature over here, good. Wow, we got this under control. Down here, 108.8, .8, very slowly, but it's working. Paku are happy. What's that face? Eight from feeder, beautiful. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them though. <laughs> I'll tell you to feed them. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, I see. They keep on uh, storing more. You know what? I think we should probably go ahead and and create another entrance up here or something and seal this off because this water. This is only gonna get. This is only gonna get deeper. You know what we'll do? No, no, no. We'll do this. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and build a ladder right here to go up to our new space. 